mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. She the curse is somehow linked to the tower where Vserad, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. Hello. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Hmm. All right, help. I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Is Naturally, you will need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. What? Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. A lamp. We finally got a torch. Kind of. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyle once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided Rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. Boat! Yes. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it or do I have to do something um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Okay. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the elven mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. A megascope? Think of it as a magic box that talks. Yeah, where's, hard the, to build. where's the carpet? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I said I don't drink much tea, but where are the carpets? So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, okay. go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fai Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards.
and Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, she was nice. Quest items. Prepare it by placing it in the appropriate slot in your inventory panel. Wait, we should, um... Oh shit, my flowers are about to win it before. Okay, so we should actually track the quest again, because it... I don't know why, it just keeps, um... Okay. So what do you say, put it in the right item? So which was the... And let's read the books first. Do we bought. And... Uh, a quest item, so... Which... I think it's going to be the lamp i got to put in the, the slot. Oh, he's already put it in a slot. It says the same, it tells you to put it in a slot and it puts it in there for you, right? What a, what a fish. Yeah, what a fish. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, look at the boat. Looks wonderful, doesn't it? Let's go. A G fork. We could follow. So where? Oh, look at this. It's cool. Right? It's like like flag all over again. You drink tequila. Yes. It's not very nice drink. I mean, the boat's pretty quick. This Xenovox, can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. A wonderful. A wonderful. There's a lot of um, monsters and stuff on this place. Geralt, are you on the aisle yet? Does the Xenovox work? Can you hear me? Get out from the What? Room. I can't hear. Great broke already. She's with this magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful. They just blow each other up like that. That's, that makes it nice and easy. You kill one around the rest of them and... Oh. Use a lamp to find the ghosts. I don't know how to use the lamp. I mean, you got it in the slot, but how do you use that slot? Right? What now? There's a blind. I don't know how you... Oh, there. There it is. There it is. Look. 
seems cool, doesn't it? We have a torch. Now we're just putting a slot and use it. Silver. Let's light up the area. The light looks pretty cool, though. Look, 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 look. Is that supposed to be bugs? A bug or something? Ooh. I like bees. This thing, aren't you? I knew it. He's gonna get stuck on that thing. Ah. Now, <laughs> wait. There's so many bastards here, though. I mean. It's really like a never ending supply of them. Do you see that makes first person option or that? That would be kind of cool. So basically, if we're looking for a ghost, it's going to be somewhere in this suck. We're going to see a ghost, right? Inside these buildings and look inside. But you never know, there might be treasure. Probably not, it's probably junk, but you never know, there might be treasure. But since the whole place is derelict, it seems unlikely, right? Right, let's whip it out. Into the town. Head into the town with a lamp. Just this eerie good light. Hmm. 
The thing is, as far as the lamp and stuff concerned, is to use it to find a ghost, but. How do you know when. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's a shift's shit slinger. How, do you, how the hell do you know when you're going to be anywhere near the ghosts? Right? I, so how do you tell? It's chiseling it on mud, whatever, whatever it is, it's frozen. Um, I don't think so. I think that's just a, um, the only thing I've seen is, like, big clouds of bees or insects. Because there's two, two options, two things to do. One of them is in the tower, and the other one is outside the tower, is looking for ghosts. And all it says here, on the, if you t put a tooltip, it allows you to see and hear ghosts. So maybe you'll hear them when you get near them. And seeing them is, um, you know. Maybe it gets louder when, you know, the sound gets louder when you get close to them. What is that over there? Look there. That could be one. Let's try Kira's land. Millie, we got to flee. Quick now. Millie! Millie, what's with you? I don't know. We so up. Burning. Ah. What? No. No. Stay back. Don't leave me. So yeah, it says optional, so it says use the magic lamp to find the ghost as an option, so you don't have to do it. It's just like a optional thing. So it's where you see the skeletons. So when the skeletons are around on the floor, you can actually see the ghost with the lamp. But you don't have to do this part of the ghost. You can just ignore this altogether. I'm definitely not going to roam around the whole island just looking for bones, because that'll be, you know, nuts. We found one. You don't know how many there are, that's the thing, right? Monsters over there. There's something red over there. Got any bones? Could be. There's a corpse of some kind. And a dead dude. What led them here? Hunger or greed? It looks like whatever the other ones were. They've got to be outside of this little area. Ooh, crossbow. Is that a good crossbow? Hmm. Not especially. Right, Take a look at the 
circle. Obviously the circle for the skeletons is the whole island. So we've looked around this part here. It could be anywhere around outside. It's probably... I don't know. Can I be asked to look around all... No, probably not. Okay. I definitely cannot. It would be cool to see you, but I... I'm not going to walk around an island. I don't have patience for that. Not with a... With looking for a, a skeletons in a, a big place like that. There's a skeleton over there, look. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Yeah, I can see one at least. Place is full of rats. There, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on. Look, Daryl, stop. You need to be so detailed. We got a lamp now, though, to look around. Where's that noble? Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shy. Be nothing noble about him. Hello, Druxler. Too quick a death they gave him. Should we make a suffer? Yeah, bollocks. Where's it? Many must have died here. Where's that noble? Let it finish. Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Someone's banging on a door. Too quick a death they gave him. Should we make to suffer? He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him and the daughter. To the top! Ghost going up top. Let's go up top first, because that might be where the ghosts are. The other ghosts, because down is where the other quest is. I think the main quest. So let's go up first. Follow the ghost. It's just in case you're not sure that they're a rat. Right. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your crafts. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants. They're through the door in the tower. Loot in here. You think there'd be tons of loot? Let's go up a bit more. Died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. 
Anyone there? I'm here. I'm here. Who? Who are you? <laughs> oh dear. It took back gold. Made me think there's gonna be gold in there, but no. One leather pelt. One leather pelt. Up, 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 up we go. She must have gone up here and we got lost. You got, well, you got lost in that tower. Where's she going? We're kind of following this chick. There's another crossbow. She's going up again. She's going to run all the way up to the top and jump, I guess. I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Did she come up here? Hmm. Looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped too. There's a ghost over there. Enhanced Dragon's Dream. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I'm here. I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. Mm. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here. Who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. I think he lied. What happened then? Fear. Terrible fear. I feared the men who approached, but I also feared the potion drinking it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease, not curing it, but causing it. 
They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. Yeah. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Hmm. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. I said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. This is a bit fishy. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham. Laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Sure. Fine. Okay. I'll talk to Graham. I don't really Where will I find him? 
He lives in the village on the lake shore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. It's a little bit fishy, this, right? Um, just a little bit fishy, you know? I just... Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. I use a log. Sure, we'll take that. Oh, we'll take that too. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna take our bones to him, and when she's when she's got the bones, it's gonna haunt the village or something. <sighs> Yeah, it was like a ah, noise from a woman. That wasn't Carol. I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Uh -huh. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? It's not like that on my side. For them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! So those little buggers are the ones that let her out. Let her rats out, I guess. When that happens, a refresh often fixes it. Alright, let's go and um, go speak to Graham. If he wants to talk to us, that is. He could be done. Is it there? Right. Hang on, where are we going to go? We can use the fast travel, can't we? Depending where he is. No, because there's no fast travel anywhere fucking near him. Where's a boat? We're going to get a boat. Of course there's monsters guarding the boat. There had to be, right? sitting down. What? He was sitting in the boat and the guy was underneath attacking him. A, what a prune. Because unfortunately in the water you can't attack with your sword. Nah. He didn't even fall over dead. He just sat in the boat holding the thing and the oar uh, it's the rudder I should say and he's sitting there Getting pounded on. Like a poundy thing. Like a poundy thing. Oh.
I've got to run all the way down again. Jesus Christ. I wonder if we jump off a little bit and break the fall a little bit, whether that'd be okay. I hear. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I'm not running all the way down. I'll come back down here again and have a, have a word with these dudes. Rich folk. That will ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let him out, maybe. Like it. I got screwed in a boat. So much silver. Alright. I gotta go listen to them because it's XP. 45 XP for listening to their story. Rich folk. That will ever understand him. Keep him rats in yeah, cages like I got gang, ganged up on in a boat. Let him out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave him there. You got eyes. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. It sounds very Imagine nice. the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for him. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, I'm a stench! Right, give me my XP. Let's get, get the frick out of here. And F5 that puppy. And orange juice. Now this time we won't just try to get in the boat without killing everything because, you know. I feel like there's nothing here. You surely you can jump in a boat and get out of here before they attack you, right? We can do it this time, but we've done it. That time we did it. Bastards. Yes, she was, Captain Garfield. Yeah, correct. Well, it kind of makes sense why she wouldn't want to come over here. As if she knew the rats were there, of course. been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? Oi, something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. Oh. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? 
No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! For then she drank the poison. The mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Mm -hmm. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay. For what they'd done to her! Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? But... Can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... Hmm. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But... What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are... Her bones? Yes. Give them here. And leave me be. He's gonna, um... Um, do stuff with me, isn't he? I don't think he's going to bury them. I reckon he is going to uh, make a doll out of the boat of her out of the um, bones, right? I think. I kind of f see him doing that, making a doll of, of her out of out of the bones. Let's have a look. I'm trying to get in there and have a look. A girl in plated flowers looks like a small shrine. It is. Okay. Surprise, eh? What a surprise. We freed her. Sorry, right, he won't need his boat no more. Alright. So, so where is she? Where's so we're gonna turn this quest in and then I'm gonna we'll turn this quest in and I'm gonna head out. She's all the way back up there? Did we come from up there? I don't think we did. Right? So we're going to turn this quest in, finish this off, then I'm going to finish up for the day. But yeah, it's potentially another mob we can kill later, right? But at least it should lift a curse from the island, if nothing else. I kind of want to finish this quest now I started it though, so we'll get it done. Maybe she'll give us uh, give us something nice for um for Emily. What you said, there's a nice ending. That's what I'm uh, hopefully it's a nice ending. After all this trouble. Because there's an awful lot of trouble here. 
I'm gonna get wet and everything. I hope she'll wash our clothes. Kira, you need to wash our clothes because you made them dirty. Is it a very happy ending for girls if you get what I'm saying? I mean, you know she's gonna put out. I mean, she's already, she's already kind of um, showed us her, her tartars, right? I mean, she's already whopped them out for us, so it's not a surprise if there's more happens. There's a nice ending between Annabelle and her as well. Ah, okay. That's cool. But it looks like from how that ended, though, is that maybe maybe he's going to join her? I don't know. But, but he's kind of um, looked like he, she killed him, and from what he was saying, he's, he's um, yeah, she's not a... Um, She's not friendly, put it that way. Make her flowers again, because... Alright. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you too close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. If you bonded, well, we, had we know what he meant. We had in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Hmm, so there was a nice ending, but we me we screwed it up. Is that right, Hammerock? I kinda wonder how you'd what you would have done differently to um do that. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Hmm. I lifted the curse, so the they island's the clear. Open. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice? You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. Hmm, I might have to check that, Hammerock. And yeah, I would just, when this quest finishes, I'm going to be heading out, um, Lemon Robot, which I don't think is too long in him. The lamp. Now. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. Wait, really? All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... Perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. Really? What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. She wants something the else, trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. She's got another task for me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Oh, thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Another freaking quest. 